I know that we have a little kinks that we're trying to work out and everything, but uh, this uh, this this is coming along real nice. Um, I have to admit that I'm uh, I'm definitely happy. Um, I appreciate everything that you have uh, kind of uh, you know you've done, man. I really do, man. You uh, you stepped up. Look at this. What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And what I wanted to talk about today was actually just do a showcase because what you just heard was Herbalist Kareem, who has a large following on YouTube. He wanted to build his own network on one of these streaming platforms where you can have your own Netflix or your own Hulu. And instead of going with Vimeo OTT, they decided to go with Uscreen. And he actually saw my YouTube channel, which I'm going to make a video in terms of if you want to have people be able to see your expertise, if you're a developer, you're a designer, your best thing for you to do is just to put out content somewhere. My recommendation is YouTube, LinkedIn, and Medium. Those would be the three platform recommendations I would have, but that that would probably be your best bet. But he saw my content, and he saw that I actually was doing these Vimeo TT videos, and he reached out, and they decided not to go with Vimeo TT, and they thought you screen was actually a better fit and in a kind of way it actually was because what I've learned and this was my first you screen project this is my first you screen project and we if we look at the admin area there's so many features that they allow you to actually utilize in order to customize your theme very in depth versus Vimeo TT, which gives you that just only a simple CSS box to make minor tweaks and everything else to their thing. But look at look at the access they give you here. Look at they give you access. They allow you to go in the back end, and if you know Liquid, which I, I I really don't right now, that's something I have to learn. But I do know CSS and jQuery, which was enough for me to make the changes that I needed to. But if you do know Liquid and you're familiar with it, which I think this was borrowed from a another platform. That I can't really remember from. Uh, we can go into Liquid Docs and see what this says. Uh, this may take some time a little, but let's we'll come back after that gets done loading here, and I'll answer that question here in a second. But they give you access to be able to make adjustments in any way that you want to. So right now I'm just showcasing the code, and that's what this video is about. It's just to kind of show you how much customizing you can actually do and if you're not a developer yourself you can hire somebody get somebody off of fiverr you can even get myself for a very reasonable price that's going to benefit yourself but more so it's going to also uh allow me to add the value that's needed to to customize these themes all right and there is going to be a you screen quick start guide that's going to be coming up here soon to actually show you how to basically set up your platform without the code from beginning to end but this is all the css code that i've written here and let me go ahead and go through a few pieces of this code without getting too technical on you and we can do some comparisons between the original polaris theme that they chose to use and what i've actually done here so as we can see on his website i actually um, took part of his logo and i just cut it out to make it a little bit smaller but more legible uh, more befitting for an actual menu theme type logo navigational type logo style so that was done by me over here but this part if you look at the polaris theme, this top part the navigation rests on top of the actual image banner but what i actually did was i had to take some css to move this down to actually have a black background show up so that way the navigation is more visible on a black background and they didn't really like the lettering covering up kareem's face here at all so that was something that actually had to be done in a code editor and let me see if i can actually find that code and if i can't it's fine because i don't want to spend a whole bunch of time trying to look for where that code is uh let's see here all right here it is right here all right hero back banner background image so i take in some css code and i moved it down here with the top part for that navigation and making the background color back because when you move it down it actually had a default background image color so that's what we use that code for in order to make those changes here on the top background this also has some other elements if you go into the admin area there's some other elements that he has hidden uh, right now at this moment that i'm not really going to make changes to right now 
uh, because I think they went live with the site as of this recording. So I'm just going to hit cancel. All right. Uh, let's cancel this. Reload. So we're just going to cancel. Okay. I'm actually, but you can see that there's a lot of features um, kind of similar to Vimeo TT on this side, but it may be a little bit easier for you if you're not too technical to kind of understand what's going on. All right. So there's a lot that you can actually do here with these themes with the testimonial section. I actually added this little gray section here. If you look at the testimonial section on the page, it's just a standard white background. So we use some CSS to make the background just highlight. So the minute that somebody passes, it immediately catches their eye. Um, another thing that I didn't know you could do was actually add a GIF. So I had the idea to just go ahead and make a, instead of a static image, like you see here on the other Polaris theme where you see this, you actually get a snapshot view using a GIF. Um, if you actually just take a collection of video clips and you edit it, maybe you want to do something under 30 seconds, nothing too long, maybe even under 20 seconds if possible, but just a little GIF trailer so when people uh, bypass this, they can actually see, kind of get a more realistic viewpoint of what this will look like um, on all the devices instead of just having that static image. So that's something that I actually went out and did as well. Okay. And then on this side right here, you can see that this part, if you wait for it, we have it um, changing colors with using some CSS code as well. And that code is... Um, this is a little color animation that's right here that was actually coded into this also. So the join description background. So when somebody rolls past it, the changing of color will immediately catch their eye to have them read, um, quickly go over it and just click the button. So it'll stay white for a while and then it'll start to change colors uh, for more engagement and everything else. So that was the idea with that. We look in the bottom corner here. I added a little nice little touch, little image to really highlight, to really emphasize or accentuate his website as well. So as we can see here on this part, it's just a standard pink background for that matter. And that, that was, that was pretty much it. Also with the buttons I also made the buttons to transition. So when you hover over it, it has a little hover effect to where it also takes um, the little blue color, the hex value here, and it transitions into that when you actually hover over it to really separate his website away from what the actual standard Polaris theme is. So if you hover over this, it just kind of does this little standard black, but we did a nice little CSS transition to actually make that a little bit different and personalized for him. So if we look at more of the code here, so we see all the CSS code that I wrote to make some of the changes and then some of the changes you may actually see are a bit simple right now. But with these changes, with all this code written, this was actually all this jQuery code that you actually see is for a section that they decided not to use. So if I get permission from him to maybe show that in a future video, I'll go ahead and do so. But this was a lot of um, code here to actually make sure that um, there was a section that he needed added that wasn't available because I don't know liquid. I, I don't know liquid code right now. I'm not really very familiar with it. So I had to use my standard knowledge of jQuery and CSS in order to add a section that is actually after the hero banner. So I can only tell you instead of show you that, but I can show you the code as you can see here that actually created that section to insert, um, a customizable section that they actually wanted here on this side. So. Uh, Liquid is a template engine which was crafted for very specific requirements by Shopify. So if you're a Shopify developer and you know Liquid, this may be right up your arena. I'm not a Shopify developer. Maybe that's something I'll explore here in a little bit. But really what I do is, is that I take already existing things and I just remold them for the liking and the, the personality taste to fit the branding identity of a certain person so i don't create things from scratch i just take what's already existing and i just remold it and reshape it to fit that person's um exquisite taste and what they're what's going to be good for their viewers so in conclusion you can actually see that you screen is going to be way more malleable than vimeo ott if it's giving you that much access to their coding files on the back end where a developer that you can hire if you're not 
a techie person you're not a coder you're not specializing in this or if you are you'll be able to be able to customize to disguise the limit on this it's going to be easily accessible to you everything is pretty much straightforward streamlined so after my experience with working with you screen I now have a clear understanding and idea in terms of who you screen is for and who Vimeo OTT is for, which you can check out in a video that's somewhere it should pop up somewhere at the end of this video for you to view. Um, shout out to Herbalist Kareem. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. I'll link to that in the description box below. And if you need help customizing your um, you screen theme, I may be the guy for you. If you don't want to pay somebody to actually do it, I will be actually creating a DIY course as well in terms of showing you how to actually do so, how to simply customize it without the code, a quick start course, and that sort of thing. So um, be on the lookout for that. Sign the email list below in order to be the first one to get your hands on it when it first becomes available as I'm working on that right now. Um, thank you again for watching.